here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete the list of partial differential equation welcome to video number 33 and in this particular video we are going to solve last problem on the topic that is method of separation variables very important topic and the question that we are going to solve in this particular video is this problem okay if you go to the playlist from video number 29 to 33 you are going to see these five problems and all these five problems are very good questions so let us start with the problem that is using method of separation variables del square z upon del x square minus 2 del z upon del x plus plus del z upon del y equals to 0 here the boundary condition is not given so we need not to find the constants okay so the given partial differential equation is del square z upon del x square minus 2 del z upon del x plus del y upon del z upon del y equals to 0 and let's suppose this is my equation number 1 let us see what is the first step to solve assume the trial solution that is u which is a function of x comma y equals to x into y here what is u that is z okay here in place of u we need to write z because z is a dependent variable which is depending on the value, values of x and y x and y both are independent variables and z is my dependent variable in the given problem so after that is z equals to x into y put the value of trial solution in the given partial differential equation so here in this in this let the solution of equation 1 be z equals to x into y z is a function of x and y that is z is a dependent variable x and y both are independent variable okay so we can say z equals to x into y here we have del z upon del x del z upon del x that is what x dash into y what is del z upon del y that is x into y dash but here we have del square z upon del x square this means we need to yes here we have x double dash into y okay so putting all these in this the, so equation 1 will become this will become x double dash minus 2 times x dash y plus this will become x into y dash equals to 0 ok now what is my next step separate the variables and assume it equals to same constant k ok we need to separate the variables then take the separated variables individually and solve it so that you can get the value of x and y ok after separating the variables yes then solve it separately so that you will get x and y after finding the value of x and y put the values of x and y in the trial solution to give the required solution of given partial differential equation it means after finding the value of x and y put this in this equation that is my trial solution z equals to x into y and that will be my final solution okay simple steps so here we are taking this term to the right hand side and from these two terms we are taking y as common so x double dash minus 2 x dash y equals to minus of x y dash okay now we will go for separation of variables so we can take this x here and y here so x double dash minus 2 x dash upon x equals to minus of y dash upon y equals to some constant k now if we equate this with this we will get the value of capital X in and if we equate this with this, we will get the capital Y. So, first we will solve this with this. Okay, this equal to this. So, solving x double dash minus 2 x dash upon x equals to k. Take this x here. So, x double dash minus 2 x dash equals to k into x. Now, take this to the left hand side. This will become x double dash minus 2 x dash minus k into x equals to 0. If you closely observe this equation, this is what? This is second order linear differential equation whose solution is given by cf plus pi okay solution of this particular equation is given by cf plus pi but here we have zero okay so the value of pf uh, pi will become zero what is pi that is particular integral what is cf that is complementary function since we have zero here so the value of particular integral will become zero so we need to find the complementary function only so before finding the complementary function we need to find the auxiliary equation yes its auxiliary equation will be m square minus 2 into m minus k equals to 0 okay now if you closely observe this equation yes this is of the type of a x square plus b x 
plus c equals to 0. If you compare this with this, yes, a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2, and c equals to minus k. Okay? And the roots of this equation is given by x equals to minus b plus minus root over of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay? Here, what is b that is minus 2 so this will become minus of minus 2 that is plus 2 plus minus root over b square that is minus 2 square that is 4 minus 4 into a into c what is a that is 1 and what is c that is minus k so minus minus will become positive 4 into k upon 2 into a that is 2 into 1 that is 2 okay so here we can take 4 common with this root we have 2 only okay so if you take 2 common out of this bracket 2 2 gets cancelled and what is left that is 1 plus root, minus root over of 1 plus k okay so we have two roots of m first root is 1 plus root over of 1 plus k and the second root is 1 minus root over of 1 plus k okay so the solution of this particular equation that is second order of differential equation is given by yes x equals to c1 into e to the power 1 plus root over of 1 plus k into x plus c2 into e to the power 1 minus root over of 1 plus k into x okay okay so after finding the value of x now we are interested in finding finding the value of y so we will equate this that is y dash upon y equals to minus k okay if you take this negative here then y dash upon y equals to minus k and simply solve this so solving y dash upon y equals to minus k on integration you will get this as log y equals to minus k into y plus log c3 here we have three terms in the middle term we don't have log so we'll multiply log e okay because log e base e value is how much one so now in the next step we will take this here that is log of y equals to e to power log e to power minus k into y plus log c3 now we know that log a plus log b equals to log a into b that is log c3 into e to power minus k into y okay log of c3 e to power minus k into y now if you compare this with this you will get y equals to c3 into e to the power minus k into y okay here we have the value of y and here we have the value of x so we can find the solution of z that is z equals to what x into y so simply put x z equals to x into y this is x and this is y so we can say that is the required solution is given by z which is function of x and y is equals to this part is x that is c1 into e to power 1 plus root over 1 plus x into 1 plus k into x plus c2 into e to power 1 minus root over 1 plus k into x this part is x into y that is c3 into e to power minus k into y and this is the required solution okay thank you thank you so much